value at risk and then uh, seeing probably the contributions of the individual securities to this uh, portfolio var and uh, probably we'll discuss about a few more aspects of this var called as the marginal var and the incremental var how each of them help in terms of the risk management or risk analytics that is uh, something which we will uh, look out probably using a data set and try to understand the different kinds of wars as a part of our portfolio risk analytics uh, uh, risk analytics which we are going to do so when i talk about uh, the value at risk initially for securities we know how to compute the value at risk for a for a equity security if i want to compute uh, the value of uh, value at risk all we are talking about is find out the standard deviation of the security and multiply it uh, with the confidence level uh, z score the z score of the confidence level so if i am going with uh, 99% uh, confidence level which is 1% var calculation then i will multiply the standard deviation by 2.33 and uh, then i will multiply it with the amount that is getting invested in the sale so that is what uh, is uh, talking about uh, the portfolio uh, uh, sorry the individual securities value at risk so for our data from the data i would like to see okay these are the things the various uh, i'm taking five different securities their uh, prices for the entire year 2013 the daily prices so i want to find out their daily returns so probably i'll uh, create new column called returns returns tata motors right or uh, let me call it tata motors itself returns tata motors or similarly i am talking about return hdfc then i am talking about uh, returns of ntpc returns grasim and i am also taking returns of hero now for each of them i will try to find out their returns right that is the the way we try to compute the portfolio var or probably first individual security var then i'll try to bring in the portfolio scenario okay individual for the individual security var first of all i require individual standard deviation so for that i am trying to find out the individual returns on a daily basis and on a continuous uh, compounded basis so that's where i am taking log s1 by s0 the today's price by yesterday's price right so this is what is working out as the daily returns then similarly i can execute the same for all five securities so these are the returns associated with all the five securities over a five day period converting it into percentages with a gap of uh, two where uh, two decimals then now this is where if i want to find out the var individual level var associated with each of the securities so let me have uh, uh, these five securities here i'll take it somewhere here and my intention is to find out the individual level wars so if at all i have to find out the war at an individual level i first require the standard deviation so either i take the daily standard deviation first and then uh, multiply it by square root of 250 so i'll first directly use 
annual standard deviation when i am talking of annual standard deviation here i am taking the daily standard deviation <coughs> the daily standard deviation and multiply it with either square root of 250 or 252 kind of number so annual standard deviation comes out to be this particular number for these five securities so straight forward it is coming out that tata motors has been more and more volatile during the period whereas uh, the grasm is comparatively much less volatile during the same period right grasm is less volatile during the period whereas the tata motors was much more volatile during the period so i require the annual standard deviation now let's assume for the purpose of doing some uh, computation let me assume that i am investing the same 100000 in each of the securities so investment for time being right you can change the numbers very well so for time being i would like to understand that i am investing the same 100000 in each of these five securities that which means my portfolio investment overall is 500000 right and which means the weights of each one as a proportion of the total weights of each one as a proportion of total let me just check the weight of this as a proportion of as a proportion of this yes this is 20% so the weights of all these items are 20% right now if i want to find out the 1% var or var at 99% confidence level then all i am taking is the standard deviation multiply it with uh, the invested amount and multiply it with the multiplication factor which is the z score associated with 99% confidence level so that way it is giving me that for the 100000 that i am investing the one yearly var the one yearly value at risk on uh, the 100000 that is being invested it is going to be 81000 81044 is the annual var associated with this example and similarly when i am talking about uh, hdfc it works out to be somewhere around 77 <coughs> right so there is a, a 1% chance that in one year my loss will be more than 81000 when i invest in tata motors can be more than 67000 when i go for hdfc 65000 when i go with ntpc and 5563 respectively right so these are my individual level wars these are my individual level wars associated with all these five securities right so that is what is the definition of individual var we are taking their uh, their corresponding standard deviations of course here it need not be annual whatever the period whatever the var i am interested in i'll take the standard deviation for that particular period right even if i compute uh, the daily standard deviation i multiply it by square root of something to get that period standard deviation so all i require is <clears throat> the standard deviation for that period 
and then the confidence level that score if i am looking at uh, 1% var then i require 2.33 which is uh, the value associated with 99% confidence level and then i am also looking at multiplying it with the amount that is invested in that position so just an addition to that if someone is uh, talking about undiversified var now for the portfolio for this entire portfolio if i want to find out the undiversified var undiversified value at risk it is nothing but it's the summation of the individual vars a direct summation of the individual vars so we'll say the undiversified 90 at 99 percent confidence level at 99 percent confidence level we are saying that the value at risk is 332,653. This is what we are calling as the undiversified VAR. But we have to understand that there could be a lot of diversification benefit because of the correlations that are existing between these various securities. So we can actually try to find out the the correlations that are existing between the returns of these various uh, securities, and uh, even try to come out with a portfolio var, right? Or 